All right. It's our weekly Gamecock chatter. We start with a redshirt freshman here, an offensive lineman. He makes his first appearance in a Jacksonville State uniform, his first career start. Hasn't played since his senior season two years ago at Ider High School. Justin Lee, congratulations. You've won the starting job. Uh, as we do this, we're not to game time yet. Are those butterflies or elephants inside that stomach getting bigger? Yeah, it's – I mean, it's, it's, it's nervousness, but excitement at the same time. You know, just got to go up there, play with confidence, and, and just play play hard football. Play fast and play the whole game. So, All right. He's from Henniger, from Eider High School. You yeah. said there was, what, 67 yeah. in your graduating yeah, class? 67 people. So, yeah. As somebody said, there'll be more on one row in, oh, yeah. in Spartan Stadium than in your high school graduating class. Yeah, I, I get the jokes all the time about that. But we, play, we played some hard football in 2A, so it was fun. What was the biggest crowd? Can you remember what was the biggest crowd you played in front of? I think it was my, my ninth grade year, third round of playoffs. We played Lineville High School up at our place, and I think we probably had five 5,000 there. So everybody in DeKalb County was there and their brothers. So it, it was a fun game. There will be a few more, I think, oh, yeah. in this one. Oh, yeah. Talk about, as a, as a redshirt freshman, getting the starting job as a tackle on offense. Uh, I guess in our in our offense, really, we, we've got to have uh, tackles that, that can move and get out on the perimeter and, you know, block the fast guys. So, um, I guess Coach Clark and uh, Coach Cross as well, they just both trusted in me and, and Nick Johnson as well. We're about, you know, the same top body, you know, um, smaller guys but, but quick on our feet. So, I, I think that that's going to help us. You mentioned Nick. He and Blake Burks, Max Holcomb, have those guys been a been an asset for you so far? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, Kind of like I talked about earlier, Max, um, just going up to the line of scrimmage every play, he, he's he's telling us, you know, each position, what we got, and playing against guys like Blake and Nick and then Adam. I mean, nothing really to worry about. They've, they've got your inside on a double team. You don't have to worry about nothing. We're going to get movement no matter what. So they're, they're, they're fun guys to play with. All right. You've had uh, LaMichael Fanning, I think, uh, to line up against in, in practice during camp. Uh, Devontae Sigler's an Auburn guy. A couple of Tennessee guys uh, transferred in at Greg Clark and Alan Carson. So you've seen some pretty good guys already, haven't you? Yeah. Uh, I guess going up going against those guys, you know, ever practice, you, you know, you get down your stance and you look at Dink out there, you know, and then he comes out of his stance just, just going crazy. You don't know what type of move he's going to throw. You know, you just got to sit back. And he's just almost seven foot tall, so I mean, I guess it's easier for me to stay lower than him. But he can play low for a big guy, so definitely going against those guys in and out has, has helped our offensive line tremendously. They've got a guy in Shalik Calhoun who is rated, I think, by some people as high as number four of all the college football players, not number four defensive end or on defense, fourth in the country. And you're going to see him some, I guess. How does that make you feel? Yeah. Oh. Uh, I think I'm going to pair him to, to Michael Fanning. I mean, they're both, you know, similar body top, taller, skinnier guys, you know, fast off the edge, and they're just really good football players. So I think going against um, Fanning, you know, is, is going to translate into blocking Shalik. So, you know, it, it's, it's, a, it's a great challenge ahead, So, but, but we're looking for it. So, Do you feel like – if you do your job, whether it's Eli or sitting back there throwing or about to take off or trying to open a hole for DeMarcus or, or Buster or Miles or somebody, do you feel like if you just get enough of a block, something good's going to happen? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, those guys, you know, that's one thing I've noticed about college, uh, other than high school football, you know. You know, I'm blocking, and then DeMarcus or Buster went there already 20 yards down the field before we know it. So it's it's great to have playmakers like that in the backfield. And Eli, you know, is as shifty of a quarterback he is. You know, it's it, it makes our job easier sometimes, too. You know, we don't have to hold them out as long. I mean, we can run them this way or that way, and Eli's going to make something out of nothing. So it's always good to have guys like that behind you. All right, we joked earlier about Eider High School, but in all seriousness, sitting out, redshirting last year, did that benefit you coming into this season? Oh, yes, definitely. Um, coming from where I played high school, you know, we were a wing team. We ran the ball, you know, 99% of the time, maybe three, three times a game. Well, this offense is awful. Yeah, so, I mean, redshirting last year was, was good for me. I got, I got the, you know, pass pro technique down, you know, and uh, just really been able to adapt to a new top offense. So, sitting out as a redshirt last year, it was good for me. Looking forward to what you play. Good luck. Thank you. Justin, the Gamecocks in action Friday night season opener against Michigan State. You can see it on the Big Ten Network. Listen to us on the Gamecocks Sports Network. Our coverage will start at 630, excuse me, 530 on Friday evening.